Hey everyone, so I have started this booktube channel in the middle of the year so I would like to do a little recap and tell you what English books I have read so far in 2017 and in this video I'm going to take a look at the first half of this year and we are starting right in January. I already picked up an English book which was Selection by Kira Cass. This is young adult. Most of the books I tell you um, here about now are going to be young adult books because um, I think it's just natural because they are from the English niveau uh, books I can easily pick up and read in the original um, language because I'm still reading a lot of German books um, also. But selection, yeah, you know the casting show Bachelor, this is pretty much Bachelor in book form. It is about a different and alternative world or a bit in the future, like it's often getting also declared as a dystopian novel. And there you have um, people, they live in different castes, so in different uh, lives. Some people have a poorer life, some people have a better life and it's also a monarchy, so there is a king and a queen. And the son, the Prince Maxon, he is not going to find a wife by himself, no, they are going to find one for him in a casting show. And every girl in the country um, between 16 and 20 years old, they can apply. And then we have the female protagonist, she's called America Singer. Um, because she has a lovely voice and she's really artsy in general and uh, she applies um, first she actually doesn't really want to but she ends up to be in this ruffle kind of anyways and yeah she gets the okay she's going to be in the casting show and then she finds herself with 34 other women so there are 35 uh, women or girls um, between 16 and 20 and they are going to get to know Maxon. They go on a couple, so on single dates only with Maxon, but also group dates and um, it's getting delivered on the TV there and um, every week or so Maxon is also eliminating some girls. So it's pretty much really like the casting show that's going on in real life. And yeah, it's young adult. There are also some people who did not really like the story at all, but I have to say I enjoyed the, the thing, you know, it's the cover, it's also with so nice dresses and it, there's a lot of um, prettying up going on and, you know, dating and this suspension, like, um, how is America Singer going to um, keep going on in this book and how is she going to involve? Is she going uh, to actually like Max in the end or does she always just see it as a very um, strict game because when she is winning their, her family would instantly rise up in prestige, they would get a lot of um, money and so on because um, America Singer she's living usually in a pretty low caste so her family is not having a lot of money so a lot of um, applicants are taking this as a chance to rise up and suddenly be the princess. And at home America also had a kind of a boyfriend anyway so we're also getting a kind of a love triangle there and I also already announced like this is a trilogy like all in all there are five parts and some novellas but the main arc with America Singer goes um, it's a trilogy it goes from uh, book one to installment three and I have all three books already um, here on my ebook reader but I have only read book one so far but I already announced that I want to finish this serious in 2017 like that would be my goal so I hope I can pick up book two um, soon and then also before this year is over also book three and I also have these two novellas there you can also see them and in between and when I have finished that series then I'm pretty happy. Then in May I have read Flame in the Mist by Renee Achtier. She is already known for her um, Wrath and the Dawn series, but I have read this Dilogy too, but in German back there. And uh, then when I saw this new duology announced, I was like, I want to pick this up because even though in the first Dilogy, so the Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger, I did not like the ending, like the second book was not that good for me, even though other people had a different opinion, um, I just loved of Achtia's writing style and I was like hell yes I'm in I want to pick up this first um, book of the new uh, duology so Flame in the Mist. The book two is coming out in 2018 expected is May and I'm going to read that for sure and this is um, playing in a feudal Japan and it's often getting uh, 
put in one pot with Mulan story, even though there are some uh, big differences. For example, Mulan, like the original story is like a Chinese story and maybe you know it from Disney a movie where Flame in the Mist is um, set, also the setting is in Japan. The only big similarity is actually just that the protagonist girl, that she is dressing up as a boy to be able to have some more impact and to be able to um, deal more with certain things. And in Flame in the Mist it's like this, that the girl, she actually gets um, promised to a different empire so there is an arranged marriage going on and when she's in the convoy like when she should actually get to the other empire this whole convoy is getting um, overtaken like a robbery is going on and responsible is the black clan for that and they kill everyone there this is happening right on the first uh, chapter so no fear no spoilers but um, the girl is um, surviving and then she promises herself like that she wants to infiltrate the black clan to go in there and to see why they were attacking what was the reason why they actually wanted to kill her because it's kind of clear that she was actually the main target of this um, assassination plan and also there the writing style was so gorgeous i just really enjoyed reading it also the english niveau it was also fine um, even though i had to concentrate a little bit more than at the selection where the english is pretty easy um, but nonetheless there were some really magical descriptions in there i also liked the story itself and there was only one scene that was a bit fast and a bit too much but all in all i'm really uh, yeah, looking forward to the final part in the next year. Then I've also read a classic in original language which was Lord of the Flies by William Golding and um, yeah I always try to catch up with classics I want to read and Lord of the Flies a lot of people got again interested in this book because of Hunger Games and Battle Royale and in Lord of the Flies it's about an airplane with um, students in it they're all male and pretty young like between eight years, six years and 12, 13, something like this. So it's young boys, young, young school boys and the airplane is crashing. This is also where the book is starting. Um, we are um, seeing then how these boys run around and wander around on the island and try to make up a plan what they want uh, to do now. And different group dynamics and uh, William Golding he was on the one hand a teacher and on the other hand he was also working for the military and so he kind of wanted to show in this book what human people are able to do and you know when groups are getting formed and what they are actually ready to do and if they are if they even get violent to get to their goal um, and I'm happy that I have read this novel now and that it, I know what it's all about and I actually also would like to read the, no, watch the movie to it but I have not done that yet but um, all in all it, it's not going to be my favorite classic but still happy that I could check it off my list. We are back on a young adult train and uh, finally I can also show you some books because all the others were like ebooks and um, I have read by Colleen Hoover, like she's a very popular um, author and you hear about her on booktube all the time and I have read, well um, I've started it in English, in German, it's called Weil ich lege liebe, this is slammed and this is how the German covers are looking like also part three and part two, they just have a different color but they are um, also like in the same design but the English one, they are looking completely different. This is now the second part. So this actually slammed. And then I read Point of Retreat. And the third book is This Girl. And they are looking like this. However, this is about um, Lakin and Will. And Lakin is uh, moving from Texas to Michigan. And she's not really happy about that because, you know, you have to leave friends behind. Um, but when they are unpacking their moving truck, a neighbor is coming to uh, ask to, if they need help and to greet them and it's Will. And there is something between Will and Lakin going on and uh, Will is also asking her out on a date and everything seems to be perfect. But then suddenly they notice that there is something in between them, so there is something standing in between them, which makes it more difficult to um, yeah, be together and be a couple. 
and um, the story continues and continues and even there are in the end three um, books and I've read them all. I have to say that the last book, this girl I actually liked the most because it was actually the the whole love story of them from the male point of view, like from the point of view of Will. And so he's kind of making flashbacks. So you kind of recap everything, but you also get to know his point of view and how he felt in different situations. So all in all, I like that package the most. And uh, the first book it starts, it's the um, female, so Lakin's um, point of view. And the last book I want to show you in this video is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. This is more like an elementary school book, like also children um, often read this um, book and it's also uh, fitting for them. And it is going to be a movie soon, like maybe you've already seen the trailer by it. And it's by, um, it's about August and he has a deformed face because of a certain... Um, a genetic mutation and he always was um, at home or homeschool because he was also a lot in the hospital so he couldn't really uh, catch up with normal uh, school times anyways but now he's doing better and it's about his first experiences he's um, having in school like some people want to be friends with him some people feel sorry for him and some people aren't mean to him and it's about his wishes and um, yeah that he also just wants to have a normal life. It's about different uh, point of views, like first it's August, then it's for example his sister and she's really cool, she's really strong and she often, you know, stepped back because um, she knew that August needs more attention now or more has more needs family from the parents attention side and so on. Then um, we are going into the mind of some school colleagues and in the end it's also again like August um, talking and telling what he's thinking. I enjoyed this book, I'm also happy that I read it and that I know what it's all about because this book, it also in German, like the German translation got some prizes like the German Youth Book Prize Award. So it's also the German edition is very popular and a lot of people are reading it and because of the movie there is again a kind of a advertisement wave going on um, but also like in English booktube it's very popular and it's a book you can definitely pick up and have read even though I think I found it a bit worse than the average uh, reviews, um, even though I also liked reading it, I was not so happy with the ending. It was a bit over the top, very cheesy. You know, it has it had this Hogwarts um, last party um, house house cup um, giveaway. You know, like Gryffindor is behind, but then someone is coming up, like Dumbledore. Oh, you get ten points. You get ten points. You get ten points. Oh, what the heck? Gryffindor is winning. Woo woo woo. And I also did not like that back there. And here the ending was also a bit like that on the one hand um, I think it's okay when he gets special treatment and so on but I think that this book actually wanted to display that even though there are some differences and he has different needs he's actually still just a boy who has normal wishes a boy in his age is having but for me this did not really get delivered in the end. That was it for this video. I hope when I'm going to give you the second part of this video, so in the end of 2017, when I make the video with um, the second half of 2017, the English books I've read, maybe I can actually then tell you that I have read selection two and three because you know, that's my goal. We will see um, on, yeah, otherwise I still have already read some English books, for example, because of Column of Fire, you know, Ken Follett, here now in September, um, his third Kingsbridge novel came out. I was also preparing for that. I was rereading, so um, I can already give you a little heads up that, for example, I have read Pillars of the Earth, World Without End, um, already in English, in the second half of 2017 and um, at the moment I'm working on Column of Fire like that's a fat historical fiction um, I was also not so sure about English you know because it's for adult people if I will be able to understand um, everything but when I get, got started with Pillars of the Earth I was absolutely uh, soothed because um, the English is super nicely understandable also I've listen to the audiobook that was also acoustically I could understand almost everything sometimes there were some names or maybe some certain words where I was not sure and I also had the ebook because you can buy the English ebook super cheap like under two euro so I also have the ebook and then sometimes I was reading a bit along to get into the groove and then I was again changing to only listening to the audiobook like that was fine but we will all hear about that in the second part of this video so far thank you so much for watching I hope you will like this video and see you Ciao!